beauty is the smile ah, that's coming. You can see that. It's I'm coming from inside within. them. Like these girls don't have fake smiles on. They have real smiles. They, they, they're they really, shine with them. Yeah, really. it, it's a whole range of girls um, of all different backgrounds, and they truly, I think, enjoy being yes. together. Yeah, their smiles are coming they from smile, within. They glow. Yeah, hundred percent. That's the same thing I was going to say. What if we were all blind and we never saw anybody, then like what would beauty be then if you all couldn't see? Beauty would be who you are as a person and how you act instead of, you know, looking at somebody else. I didn't grow up in this town. I actually grew up two towns away and I went to school with a bunch of different people, like a bunch of different cultures. We didn't judge you for where you came from or what you looked like or what you wore. We were all friends. And for me, I think growing up in that type of environment definitely shaped me. Here, where I live now, not to bash anybody here, but this is a pretty superficial town. So everyone's doing what they think they're supposed to do. You know, one trend happens here and it's like a chain reaction. People don't even know what they want. Like people don't even know like who they actually are, like what they actually like. They just want to like fit in cuz the moms in this town are competitive. So they put these ideas in their children's heads that they need everything like perfect. So then when problem comes around, like sometimes the moms are like more in competition than the actual kids themselves. But about a year ago, I actually, they laughed at me. I called beautiful people for an appointment because we had just gotten the prom day and they laughed in my face. They said, not happening right now. My daughter made me take today off and she's like, Ma, it's the biggest day besides the wedding. You know, it's something where you want to experience it together and get ready together and go to pre-prom together. But then she's off on her own the rest of the night. We're not a part of it at that point. But up till that point, it's nice to be together doing it. We have like, Year after year, we have all the older girls to look up to and like what they wore. And a lot of the times, people just do what everybody else does or wear what everyone else wears. And it's hard to find people who actually want to like express themselves because when you're influenced by these basic girls, they're just scared to be themselves. They'd buy the like five dresses and then they would keep on buying different dresses and change their minds get to like five different pairs of shoes because they have to get everything right and then they know about prom, like they dream about it from like the beginning of the year. I told my mom that my budget was 500. So when we went to runway, it was, very hardcore because like every single, you couldn't even try on a dress if someone else got a dress that looked like it there. As soon as you walk in, they go, hi, what school are you from? And they're like, oh, Kennedy, like you have a very small variety for you. I'm like, great. Welcome to Runway Couture, where all the girls come to get their prom dresses. I was the girl who someone came in to the prom years and years ago with the same dress, so I won't forget that. So we make sure we don't mess that one up. I feel like nowadays with girls, I mean, there are girls who are just insecure and want to, you know, outdo everybody. But I think girls now are coming more into their own, especially when you're a senior, you're 18 and you're like prime time of high school, you're figuring out like who you are as a person. It's like, shit, I want to be skinny too, but you know, 
sometimes it's unrealistic to just try and change who you are just because you see the appearance of somebody else. <laughs> Girls lose themselves in high school like that. You know, can't find who you are. And that's why I think everyone's so excited for college, because they're like, new chapter in my life. I was thinking about it today, like, what is it all for? You know, every day, it's crazy. Time goes by so quickly. And at the end of it all, I just wonder where I'm gonna be, if it was all worth it, you know? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you know? That's what they say. You don't have to be super skinny or have like a face full of makeup on to feel pretty. I think that if you're happy inside, like a smile is gonna show so much more beauty than any superficial outfit you're gonna wear. You always try to look good for a fight. You want to look fresh. You want to have that cut. You want to. You want to have these these certain lines, that design. You know, because honestly, when you look like a bum, and you do something awesome, yeah, but he's a bum. <laughs> <laughs>